Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're on day three of my seven days of mobile workflows for creatives. And today we're going to talk about color and specifically using an application called Adobe Color to grab colors for the rest of the week that we're going to be using throughout our design workflow. So with that said, um, Adobe Color started off as an iPhone only app or iPhone native app I should call it. And now it's also available on the iPad. And of course, uh, since it's available on the iPad fairly recently, let's go ahead and do it on the iPad instead of the iPhone. Now, uh, when I launched Color, um, depending on what you were last in, it may take you to the camera. So you're probably going to be, I'll, I'll take you where you're probably going to be. You're probably going to be here. So it's looking at my desk and trying to grab colors from what's on my desk. So I could say, do it live. And it will go out and just kind of, you know, automatically hone in on what it thinks are colors. Now, of course, you can move these circles around so you can pinpoint uh, specific colors that you need to capture. Uh, and there's not a whole lot of color right here, but I can say, you know, I want that white of the cable there. I want the gray of the laptop. I want the gray of the uh, this and that and so forth and so on. And then that will create this. Uh, color theme on the left hand side that we could save and use. Now you also have the ability, uh, you notice there's a color wheel above the snap photo button. If I grab the color wheel, I can actually go in and I can mix my own colors. I can say, you know, these are the colors I want to use. And if you're like me, you're probably, you know, you may not be that good at picking colors. Um, so mixing on the color wheel might be one of those things where I really don't you know, I'm really not good at it. I really don't know what I'm doing. So in the bottom right hand corner, there is a um, kind of a rules guide that lets you pick how you want the colors to relate to each other. So I can say, you know what? I just want colors that complement each other. Give me complementary. And then what that will do is lock in the color wheel to colors that complement each other no matter where I spin the color wheel. So if I spin the color wheel and do this, I will continue having colors that look good together. So that's another way to work with the color themes. And last but not least, let's go back out. I want to choose photo. And uh, what I want to do here is I want to grab a, actually, let's add, let's grab a photo. And I want to grab a photo, and again, I can do it from the camera, which we already saw, live feed. I can do it from the camera roll if there's an image already on my camera roll. And I can also do it from the Creative Cloud um, aspect of it. So I can say, go into my demo files folder, find a photo that I want to use. I want to use this New York one that we used yesterday in Photoshop Mix. And I want to get some colors from that because we're going to use it tomorrow uh, as we continue our design process tomorrow or the next day. So again, it's kind of trying to decide what colors to grab. I can say, ooh, yes, I want that gold that's there, but I want this particular shade of green, and I want the blue in the sky, and I want the gold from the flame. And let's see, I've got two colors that kind of look the same, so maybe a little bit lighter on that one, and a little bit darker on that one. There we go. So I, I've kind of got my New York theme going on. There's really only three major colors in here, green, gold, and blue, but I can get different shades of them and uh, continue to work. So if I have the, all the greens I want, for example, I can come over here maybe and get a different shade of the blue in the sky there. I thought I saw a little bit of a cloud up there, if it will let me get it. So not a whole lot of colors in this particular image to work with, but I can take what's there and get what I need, which is really the green and the gold. <laughs> so let me make sure, as a matter of fact, uh, let me make sure I've got, instead of a different shade of blue, let's make sure I've got different shades of the gold. Not white. Uh, maybe that one. There we go. That might look a little too close to the other one. There we go. That's more of a brownish color. Okay, so now that I've got the colors, I can go ahead and just uh, hit the check mark. I can then give it a name. So we want to call this one Liberty. And there's my Liberty theme. Now it's syncing it to my uh, Creative Cloud library called My Library. And actually what I'd love to do is perhaps duplicate that to my Adobe Demos, which is where we're going to be working. Now um, once that theme gets duplicated over there, I should be able to see it now if I go to Demos. 
there it is. There's my New York theme. And again, it's syncing that with Creative Cloud. So if we go back to my desktop, it's already there. So it's synced it up to Creative Cloud. And of course, my library panel is open here in Photoshop, whether it's Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign, my library panel would be open. And of course, now those colors are available to me in my desktop applications as well. So that's how Adobe Color works. Again, you can choose it live, capturing the things around you with your mobile device. Again, that's one of the main uses for it because it's a mobile application. Or if you snapped a photo earlier, the previous day, previous week, and you just really like the colors of it, but you didn't have time to grab the colors with Adobe Color then, you can still bring up that photo and grab the colors from it. Or of course, you can mix colors with the color wheel and have it and create your own themes based on the different rules or just you can freeform it and get the colors you want from the color wheel. So that's Adobe Color, syncing with Creative Cloud Libraries, therefore making those colors available to me in my other not only mobile applications, but as you can see, my desktop applications as well. Take care. Thanks for catching day three. And we look forward to seeing you for tomorrow for day four as we continue the design process. We're just assembling everything now. Started with Lightroom Mobile, Photoshop Mix, Adobe Color. And we're just going to keep going until we have all the pieces we need. And then you're going to see something cool on the last day. Take care. Thanks.